So this is a word problem. So I'm going to use a strategy that I call translate word problem. And all that means is instead of just reading it from the start and going all the way through and trying to remember everything that I read, I am instead going to stop at the end of each sentence to make sure I understood what I read in that prior sentence and then definitely write down any quantitative information as I read it, right? Because that's the point at which I probably understand it the most. So the first sentence here says, a researcher surveyed a random sample of students from a large university about how often they see movies. Okay, makes sense, right? We have a survey regarding movies. The next sentence says, the, I'm sorry, using the sample data, the researcher estimated that 23% of the students in the population saw a movie at least once per month. All right, so 23% goes to one per month. Right, one per month for movies. The next sentence says the margin of error for this estimation is 4%. So this is really plus or minus 4%. Right, so we have a range here of it really could be somewhere between 19% to 27%. Right, just subtracted 4% from 23 to get this and added 4%. To 27 to get that and that's what our margin of error means okay so it doesn't it means that 23 percent isn't necessarily the exact number but it should be somewhere for sure between those values the next sentence says which of the following is the most appropriate conclusion about all students at the university based on the given estimate estimate and margin of error so choice A says it is unlikely that less than 23% of the students see a movie at least once per, per month. Well, that's not true because we saw that given our margin of error, it could be as low as 19%. So it is likely, right? So A is gone. Choice B says at least 23%, but no more than 25% of the students see a movie at least once per month. Again, that is wrong because we can go up to 27% and we could definitely go below 23%. Choice C, the researcher is between 19% and 27% sure that most students see a movie at least once per month. Now, this is pretty tricky, right? So we see our numbers, but these numbers have to do with the, with the percentage of students that see a movie at least once a week. Not with how sure, it's not with how sure the researcher is. These percentages are, have nothing to do with how certain the researcher is. So choice C for that reason, is gone. So choice D says, it is plausible that the percentage of students who see a movie at least once per month is between 19% and 27%. And that is exactly what we have here, right? Because of that plus or minus 4% um, error. So D is the best answer to this question.